Hey guys, Tim here with the, his first Sailor Reach action figure review. A little disclaimer really quick. I've already opened this, so I just like taped up the sides and stuff, but it is a Toys R Us exclusive. Stupid thing to like focus and stuff. Focus, camera, focus. Never mind. Anyway, comes with a grenade, a DMR. On the back, it shows the other Series 1 action figures. Of course, have a dude thing. Anyway, on to the unboxing. Okay, so now we got that. Let's go ahead and take out the grenade first. Let's go. Ooh, snap. Okay, so about the figure. The body itself is actually pretty cool. The chest armor is removable. Some way, somehow, sometime this year, perhaps. Okay. When you got it off, it's pretty cool. Very articulated. And you see it here? Oh, snap. Hang on a second. Ah! Okay. Oops. My bad, people. If you look at it right here, you can see, like, come on, stupid camera, focus. Bing. Anyway, you have the UNSC symbol right here, uh, a little white stripe right here, and these two little black dots right here. Don't know what that, what's up with that one. Anyway, got that. A... CQC shoulder with a little down arrow on it. Oh, I don't know why. Um, and it has a JFO shoulder. And for some reason, I've seen on a lot of reviews this thing right here. This one, like some of these. This one, like right, right here. See it? This one, right there. It's out of shape. It's like all straight and stuff. Um. A lot of things people don't notice in reviews that I watch. There is a pe peg hole right here for like a gauntlet or something. Um, yeah. The knees are not removable, sadly enough. They are FJ para knees. You have this right here, which has a medical symbol like thingy and a UNSC symbol. Uh, has op helmet, of course. It's pretty cool all the way around. You have the spinal armor. Pretty cool. And you have the belt pegs right here. Or butt pegs, whatever you prefer. For like attaching grenades and stuff. We'll get to that later. The legs. Uh, GCR is articulated. And they, have, they have cog joints. You can hear it. For some reason, hat toe or foot is like a lot tighter than this foot, because it's like, and then like, it's kind of weird. The toe is very articulated, surprisingly. It's upside down toe! It's in the newest fashion! Not. You could do that to both toes right here. Uh, you can actually if you turn the hand just right, you can make it bend like that. Like that. If you turn it, you can make it bend like this. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's it for, like, articulation stuff. Oh, and he also has a hole right here. Like, for a peg. It's a peg hole right here. Uh, it's for, like, a belt or something. Like, if you've seen on a meal or Noble 7, he has a... They have like these little belt things. If they're removable, you can put them on here. Um, he also has peg hole right here. If, like if McFarlane ever makes a Magnum or something for him, he have a peg hole on its back to like stick the DMR here, like this. Hey, right there. Ta da! Now for the weapons, we have the. 
designated marksman rifle. One thing that probably would have made this a little cooler <laughs> is uh, if the magazine here was removable. That'd be that'd be a step up for McFarlane if he did that. But sadly enough, they're not like they can't do that. So yeah. Uh, yeah, and the scope here, pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. There's this little, like, this little thing right here on the side that, like, goes out. At first I thought it was, like, broken or something, but when I took a closer look at it, it wasn't. It was just, it's like that and stuff. Uh, let's see. You have, like, a little cheek plate right here. Cheek rest, whatchamacallit, thing right there. And you can't really, like, hold it, it's, like, kind of, eh, his hands right here. They're, like, for holding cups. Because he, he, like, has no, he has no trigger finger, so. And it's a step down right there, which is... I wish McFarlane would have done something about it. I mean, he can hold it and all that. That's like, I'm shaking it and stuff. Yeah, but he can hold it like that. It's pretty cool. You sit there like... You're like, oh, you're gonna die, fucker! Yeah. Wait. This ain't no uh, machine gun. Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Oh, crud. <laughs> the grenade pretty cool it's like just a little like dark green military greenish ball right here I have no idea what that was anyway pretty awesome sauce <laughs> uh, here's like a little peg right here you stick onto the left or right butt peg as demonstrated it's on there. Oh my goodness. It's on there. Or you can stick it onto the left butt peg. See? Mm, so, yeah. Uh. I think that'd be it for weapons. Oh, um, yeah. If you've, like, seen in the game or something. Or whatever. They have a knife right here. Which is something I wish McFarlane would add to these figures, like a removable knife. That would make it a lot. It would sell, uh, in my opinion, I think it would sell a lot more. Because of, like, the removable knife, and if he could hold it, it'd be pretty nice. Um, uh, yeah. There's a white line right here. And right here, like, reflector lights, kind of, I guess. And he's got these blue lights right here. And blue lights right here. Yeah, and I would not suggest trying to remove this pack. Because I did. And the peg for it broke. So I had to glue it back on with some Elmer's glue. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, that's about it for the weapons. For an overall rating, I'd give, I'd give this guy a... Oops. Stand up! Fine. I just have to hold you. For an overall rating on this guy, I'd give him a... On a scale of 1 to 5, I'd give him a 4.5. Due to the pack and his not being able to hold the DMR correctly. If you know what I mean by that. Yeah, it's a pretty good figure all, figure all around. But... If you go to your, like... Target, or not Target, but uh, Toys R Us. If you see him, get him. Okay. This one is just, it's awesome. Okay, just pure awesome. Alright. With that, I leave you with.